Hello, this is Mrs. Hesemittal, and this is just a quick uh, view of Classcraft from a student point of view. This is my current student that I have right here, and you'll notice that this student is fairly high up in the um, levels. She's a level 18. When you start out, you would start out obviously as a level 1, but I kind of wanted to show you what the student view can do. So you'll notice you have powers or you have um, points here, HP or health points. So if you misbehave in class, show up late, those kinds of things, you lose health points. AP or action points, which allow you to use your powers. Different powers let you do different things in class and your teacher will do a um, like a couple of minutes at the beginning of class usually for powers. XP or experience points. Experience points allow you to level up once you hit a thousand experience points usually. It's usually a thousand. Then you can level up to the next level which means you get access to different powers. Um, your AP gets replenished, your health points go up, you get gold pieces. Now gold pieces are what allow you to buy things in Classcraft. And by buy, we mean generally things like equipment. So when you start off, this is what a healer would look like as a standard rule. And you'll notice that there's whole sets of outfits that can be chosen. And they cost different amounts of a, or different amounts of gold pieces for you to purchase. And so you notice here's one, we can save that. And you need the following. Okay, buy and save changes. So I completed the astrologer set, which means I can now attach that. So then you'll notice that there's all sorts of options. You can actually mix and match and give different like little, there you go, there's one. We can save that. And you can change different, for instance, in this case, her staff changes based on um, which outfit you want to use it from. So you can sort of mix and match between your outfits. You'll also discover that there are pets that you can go ahead and apply. Now, pets are interesting because you have to train a pet before you can actually put the pet where it's supposed to be. Notice those are all grayed out because they haven't been fully trained yet. But, for example, this is a cute one. We can save that and put that on there. And now, when I come back to my main page, you'll notice that it reloads. There's my pet. There's the changes I made to my character. So pets is another option. It's right underneath the equipment. And what you have to do generally to train a pet is you have to go through, you have to complete all the quests to train your pet. And notice there's multiple quests. Every time your pet goes out on a quest, it brings you back gold pieces. So this particular pet will gain you 150 gold pieces. Whereas, let's say I wanted to, I don't know, to unlock this pet, you have to start their training. So let's see. I would need one. There's one that's already been unlocked and it's currently doing some work to gain XP. So is this one. Oh, completed. I can claim my reward and start that one again. So you'll see that these are all, once they're colored, you can actually go and get them. See, now I can start this one because I just gained this outfit. And so I can go and, and uh, get that pet working. So once you buy into a complete outfit, then you can, a set of equipment, then you can train the pet for that same set of equipment. I believe only one pet will show up at a time, but I could be wrong about that. I think just one. So the other option is now you've seen this, you can also go see your class and see who else is in your class. For example, I can click on a person who's in my class and go look at what they look like. Um, I can also go look at the other teams in my class so I can see what their characters are, but I can't change any of their stuff. I can just look at it. 
So for now, I'm going to go back to my character who currently has full health, but only 15 action points. That means she can only do one of her powers. This particular power is to heal a teammate. Well, other powers would be here and you can click on them. They do different things when they're grayed out. That means you can't use that power at that moment due mostly to the fact that you don't have enough action points to use it. If you were to fall in battle, there would be sentences here and the sentence would pop up and then you would be able to go through uh, and perform whatever the sentence was to be able to play class craft again that day. Falling in battle usually occurs because you have misbehaved in class and lost all of your health points for one reason or another. There can also be some random events that would cause you to lose your health points. So it's just one of those things you have to kind of keep an eye on. Now there are also quests where you can go to these different locations when your teacher sets it up and you can follow quests and go through and do a new, you can sort of go through and answer questions and do little activities to gain XP and gold pieces and in many cases extra credit for your actual class. You can also message your teacher by clicking on their name and typing a message down here and sending it and that message now has been sent to your teacher. You can also see any class announcements that your teacher has made. So all of these things are available for you under the student login for Classcraft. I hope that answered a few of your questions and I hope you have some fun with it.